Welcome back everyone. Experts say nearly half of all American adults have high blood pressure. Now a new study is confirming what cardiologists have been saying for years. And here to tell us more is Dr. Nicholas Burke. He's a cardiologist uh, with the Minneapolis Heart Institute at Abbott Northwestern. Thank you for being here with us this morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. So the statistic is kind of startling. startling. Nearly half of all Americans have high blood pressure. Yeah, and that's, that's changed a little bit because the guidelines have changed. And the number now that we're shooting for is 120 over 80. It used to be 140 over 90, so it's, it's actually lower. Wow. And that's based on really solid science, that that's where you, we should be aiming for with our blood pressure. Okay, so some of us, myself included, we check our pressure at home. Uh, there's this important study out that was recently re released and it's kind of saying what cardiologists like yourself have been saying all along. Well, in, in, uh, you know, people can show up in the office and you can get some funny readings and whatnot, but what it demonstrated for the first time in the U.S. population and, and in people largely of Caucasian descent that checking the blood pressure at home actually correlates with cardiovascular events and the, the question is how do we prevent that and can we do that effectively and the first thing to do is to find out if there actually is a problem and you can do this at home so I notice when I go to the office my pressure is higher at home it's cool can you kind of explain why? Well, there's a, a thing that's called white coat hypertension that sometimes people, perhaps because of the stress or anxiety of being in a physician's office, their blood pressure may be artificially elevated. And that's when it's important to check it at home. Now, it's interesting that you say that because actually it can be different in the African-American population where actually it can be, it can be, uh, higher at home and lower in the office, which is, which is sort of strange. The, the bottom line is that we have to get an accurate diagnosis. And if the, the best way to do this is actually by home blood pressure. Okay, so if you don't have one, you can find one at your nearest drugstore. Absolutely. All right, thank you for your time today. Now, if you missed any of today's tips or any of this segment, that's okay. We will post it on our 11 a.m. show page on care11.com, as well as some important links. Check your pressure, folks. Nick